Okay, so now we're gonna do our set method for our hash tables. And we're just gonna bring up this address space and our hash function. And then we'll set an item, in this case, bolts. That key, bolts, is gonna get run through our hash function and it's gonna produce the number four. Also, our set method is gonna produce this array with the key and the value. And we're gonna put that at the address of four. So I'm just gonna remove this and then we'll get into the code. So our set method, we're gonna pass it a key and a value. And the first thing we need to do is figure out the index where we're gonna store this key value pair. So we're gonna have a variable that we call index and then it'll be equal to this dot hash. We pass it the key, which gets run through that hash method. That is gonna produce the number four, and that's gonna be our index. So that variable index will be set to the value of four. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is build this empty array that we will push the key value pairs into. And we'll just do it like this. So this line here, this dot data map, at the index of four, we wanna create this empty array like this. And this is a step that we only wanna do if there isn't already an empty array in there. So if we were gonna insert something else at the index of four, we wouldn't wanna do this step. So we'll wrap this in an if statement like this. So this is basically saying, if this is completely empty, only then will we do this. Now we can push in our key value pair, and we'll do it like this. We'll walk through this, this dot data map index, and this is the index of four, we're going to push the key value pair, the array with these two items. So that gets pushed into there. Now let's look at adding another key value pair to the same address. We'll run the set method, pass it a key and a value. In this case, it's gonna be washers. First thing we have to do is run the hash to see what address it is going to be. And the index for washers with the hash method that we're using is also gonna return four. So index is gonna be set to four. Then we move to this if statement. Is there already something at the address of four? There is, which means we are not gonna do this step and we're gonna move to this step. And it's gonna push this key value pair into there. And then I'm just gonna add one more key value pair. This will go at the index of six. There is one more line of code that we need to add and that is to return the hash table. When we move over to Chrome DevTools, we're gonna use this code and we're gonna build an empty hash table with seven items in it, just like this. And then we're gonna use the set method to put all three of these key value pairs into the hash table and then we'll take a look at the hash table. So let's flip over to DevTools. Okay, there's our set method that we just created. And then the hash table that we're gonna create here is just going to be an empty hash table. So let's zoom out here. I'll go over here and run this. And I'm just gonna open this and show that this is an empty hash table with a length of seven. And I'll clear this. And I'll just use the up arrow. I've got these saved here. We have lumber, that's gonna go at the index of six. Washers. And bolts. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this. Then I'm just gonna say, my hash table. And I'll press enter. Now when we open this up, you can see that we have two items at the index of four there. I'll open this up. And those are our washers and our bolts. And down here at the index of six, we have lumber. And that is our method for set.